Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to sublimate on top of a canvas. The canvas is an 8 by 10 um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And so what I'm going to do is I've already brought my image in. Um, this type of sublimating onto a canvas works better with a black and white um, image that has a lot of white space because you want to be able to use it for painting. So that's what I'm showing you is how you can sublimate this onto a canvas and then use it for like a paint party. So you just locate whatever image you want to work with and you want to make sure that your sizing is appropriate for a print because we're going to have this to print out on our sublimation paper. And we're going to change this right now. It's a cut image, but we want to change it to um, a print image. So we're just going to go up to feel and change it to print. And you're going to notice on the right hand side that it changes to cut and print. OK. Once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and select make it. And you want to make sure that your sizing is appropriate for print. Um, if you get the little triangle, um, I'll show you here. If your image is too large, you're going to get a little triangle that's going to show over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to make mine too large just so you can see. So you're going to get this little triangle right here. And what you want to do is it's telling you if you click on it, it's telling you that it's not supported by maker. Your image has to be 6.75 by 9.25 or, or smaller, okay? So we could take it to the max of um, a width of 6.75 by 9.25. And, oh, let me unlock my proportions here. Okay, 6.75 and 9.25. And then we would be able to get rid of the um, alert, okay? So I'm gonna leave it at that and I'll just go ahead and select make it. And when you get to this point, you wanna make sure that you click mirror because you're doing sublimation. So you want your image to be laying face down onto your canvas. So make sure you mirror. Anytime you do sublimation, you have to mirror your image. And we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And we're gonna tell it to go ahead and send it to the printer. And we're going to remove the bleed. We don't need that. And we're going to change to system dialog so I can select my own print settings and then click on print. At this point, it recognizes your printer. You're going to select preferences. And we're going to say we want this on high quality plain paper. And we're going to go ahead and click on OK and print. Now this is going to print out and I'm going to have you um, where you can see me at my heat press. So I will see you in a moment. All right, guys, I have my canvas set up here um, and I actually don't because the canvas has the opening here. You want to take, normally it's best if you have like a um, sublimation pillow that you can place inside and that way it still has a hard uh, type of area to press down on. But I don't have one so I just take this old dish rag and I just place it inside really nicely inside of my, um, that opening on the canvas and make sure that it is laying flat, okay? I wanna make sure that it's laying flat. I'm then going to take my image because you know when you do cut and print with Cricut, you're gonna get that black line around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this black line away. And I have my heat press heating up here. 
So we're going to get all of that black borderline away because we don't want that. And we're going to throw this in the trash. So now you can see I have just my image without that black border. And I'm going to go ahead and place this on my canvas. And you want to make sure that it is facing down. Okay, facing down. And get it on there nicely. Now, um, one thing I forgot to say is that because I'm using this thick canvas, I have to remove my bottom off of my mat because otherwise um, I don't, I'm not able to close it as good. So I have to make sure that I remove that and then I'll put it back on afterwards. And I'm just going to get just a little piece of heat tape to ensure that this doesn't move. Give me one second here. Now remember the heat tape is to keep it, to keep it in place. And so I'm just going to put a little piece of this on here to keep my picture image from moving and you only need like a little piece at the top and the bottom so I'm not gonna put that much on here just gonna put a little piece down here at the bottom and then a little piece up here at the top And again, this is to hold it in place because you don't want your image to shift when you lay your heat press down on it. Okay. And I'm going to be pressing this. Um, I'm going to be pressing this at 360 and I'm going to press it for about 20 seconds. So let me see. And I'm also going to be placing my um, butcher paper on top. Now you can get the butcher paper off of Amazon. Um, I have a very large roll of butcher paper that I ordered from Amazon. And uh, it is going to last me a very long time. <laughs> a very long time. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm just making sure that my little um, thing here is good and flat. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, let's see where our, all right, we're at 336, so we're almost there. And again, I'm going to be placing my butcher paper on top, just like that. Something on here I picked up from somewhere. Now, like I said, my heat press is more than likely not going to allow me to close it. So I just kind of let it go down as far as it will. And I'm going to be heat pressing it at 360 for 20 seconds. So we're at 354. We're almost there. All right, we're at 360. Go ahead and press that down. And wait a minute. I'm gonna have to turn it 
this way because it was kind of going over my heat press. And I want to make sure that I have the full image covered. All right, here we go. So I'm going to press it for 20 seconds. a look here and see what we got get that out of my way and there we have it turn it around so you can see it and that is how you heat press onto a canvas I'm trying to make sure you can see the whole thing um, and now it's ready for you to paint on. Okay. So you saw how quick that was. It's just a matter of uploading your image into Cricut Design Space and then making sure that you mirror when you get ready to print it out. This is on Asa paper using Ink X Pro ink. And this canvas came from the dollar store they had 10 for ten dollars and you want to make sure that you put something inside if you don't have a sublimation pillow which i don't so i just use this old dish rag um, or dish towel that i always just pop inside um, to make sure and if you have a heat press like mine that has that thick bottom you will have to remove this otherwise you won't be able to push push the top down Okay, very good. And I heat pressed it at 360 for um, 20 seconds. All right. If you guys have any questions about the process, then please feel free to reach out. Um, if you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for being in my Facebook group. Let me put this on my face so you can see me. And I know my thing is... <laughs> Got my eyes looking cricket, but it's okay. Um, if you're currently in my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, then thank you guys so much for being in my Facebook group. And if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Oh, let me turn this off. And um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you like my way of teaching, then please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like, share, um, as well and hit that bell notification in the top right hand corner so you'll be made aware anytime I upload um, I thought it wasn't recording I was about to go crazy upload um, tutorials to or videos to YouTube all right all right guys that's my story I'm sticking to it and as always each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have a great great day peace and blessings bye